good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2009 Ford Eldorado Aerotech. <clears throat> Alrighty then, so as I said, Ford Eldorado Aerotech, this is on the Ford E450 chassis. Powered by the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 engine. Kind of an industry standard nowadays. <clears throat> uh, this is a ADA shuttle bus. It's a 12 passenger plus two wheelchair. Uh, Basically, this is perfect for retirement homes, uh, employee transportation, doing routes. I mean, the whole nine yards is a non-CDL bus. Don't need any special uh, license requirements to drive this. Makes it uh, one of the most uh, sought after floor plans out there. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, engine area, as I said, 6.8 liter V10 engine. Of course, a company with a automatic transmission. Engine area looking clean, looking good. <clears throat> So uh, 2009, so it does have that new uh, front end there. So we'll actually have the newest, we'll have the new front end just like the 20, 2019. So it'll look pretty much the, pretty much identical. So <clears throat> it's always a good, good point there. Uh, tires looking good. Knee deep in tire tread there. We do have the uh, stainless steel wheel, wheel inserts on there. It's just a cosmetic thing. Uh, they come white. The stainless steel just kind of makes it look just a little bit more professional. <clears throat> All right, so coming on in here, we have a black uh, ribbed aisleway and stepway, white step nosing, <clears throat> and then a black rubber floor going throughout the rest of the bus. There's actually a manual entry door. Some people people prefer this to the electric one, pretty much because nothing can go wrong here. Not that anything does go wrong with the electric ones, but uh, I mean it's really just <clears throat> some nuts and bolts there, so it makes it pretty simple. Uh, this bus does have 143,000 miles on it. Definitely got a lot of life left. <clears throat> uh, very clean bus. I'm going to show you the back here in a little bit. Driver's seat upholstery, no rips, cuts, or tears, anything like that. It's looking great. It's so even got the armrest, believe it or not. They don't all come with that. Uh, up here, you got your uh, dome lights, switch, your, your uh, lift, your hazards, your rear heat. I have that on right now, if you can hear that. Uh, and then we got an aftermarket Jensen AM FM CD stereo. And then here's your interlock system and your driver climate controls. And there's your AC for the rear as well all right so in the back here now uh so the the uh, first two here these are low back passenger seats um they're covered with a uh, freedman uh level one vinyl seat cover this is the freedman featherweight edition we do have retractable seat belts and uh aisle side grab handles and armrests so uh, that's the first two. So the other ones back here, I believe it's called a bench back here. Now these are actually fold away seats, which means that they uh, they can fold up to the sides. This is a really cool floor plan because if you don't have a whole, if you only have two wheelchair passengers, you can put them in the back there. If you have more, so you have four, you can uh, you can fold these chairs up to make room for four. <clears throat> and I will uh, show you that. Basically, just follow these red tabs here, which will allow this part to fold down. And then there is a red tab underneath here. You're gonna press, and it folds up. Beautiful. And uh, all of these will do that. I will uh, do them all real quick so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. And I'm actually doing this with one hand right now. It's how easy it is because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Kind of some help for my knee there, but <clears throat> very easy to do. Look at that. So now you can see the, uh, the floor plan here. So it looks like you can get a total of four wheelchairs here. One, two, three, four. Very versatile floor plan. This is perfect for retirement homes, nursing homes. I mean, this is kind of their, uh, their main floor plan that they would do. So that way if they don't have wheelchair customers, they can put those down. They can have ambulatory uh, seated passengers. Or you can have four wheelchairs here. <clears throat> All right. Uh, coming underneath here, going to show you the rear tires. Rear tires looking good as well. Underneath here, very clean bus. A little bit of some surface rust here and there. Nothing I wouldn't expect from a 10-year-old bus, but uh, definitely looks very, very clean. <clears throat> uh, this is a Rikon wheelchair lift. There's uh, two kinds or three: Braun, Rikon, sometimes a Maxim, but uh. Very simple, there's only four buttons. So if you want it to go up, you just press up. Simple as that, hold it down. <clears throat> Make it very user friendly. There's also some instructions on there as well. So uh, you can't really mess it up. 
Alright, and then you're going to click uh, stow. And it'll put it right in there. Simple as that. There we go. Hang that up. Very simple. Alright, come around the back here. We have a rear emergency exit window. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it's good to know it's there. And uh, the windows on the side are tour style windows with a little slider up top. <clears throat> Show you the tires underneath here. And uh, it's kind of weird, but my favorite part about this bus is the uh, the uh, driver's side running board here. These ones are super heavy duty. I mean, this allows for an extra step coming on in here for your driver. It makes it just that much more simple. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.